I am here to make the concluding remarks and to wind up the discussion on the resolution. I shall be very brief. I'm sure all of you have read the resolution, the thrust of the resolution, and what is the message that is sought to be conveyed to the people of India. It's difficult to summarize a short message, but I'll try to do it. The message that we must convey to India is, it is the Congress party in 1991 which ushered in an open, competitive and liberal economy. The seeds of a liberalized economy were sowed in 1984 under the Prime Ministership of Sri Rajiv Gandhi. Not many remember the election manifesto of the 1989 election and even more so of the 1991 election. The seeds of an open, competitive and liberal economy were sowed in those two manifestos. Unfortunately, Sri Rajiv Gandhi passed away. And then when we came back to power under Sri Narasimha Rao, Dr. Manmohan Singh as Finance Minister took upon himself the bold action of opening up India's economy. The results of an open, competitive and liberal economy are known to everybody. According to the United Nations Development Fund, 27 crore people were lifted out of poverty. In 10 years, between 1991 and 2001, we doubled the GDP. And again, in 10 years, we doubled it again. All the new champions of industry that you read about in the newspapers, you see, all the new champions in information technology, steel, power, automobiles, all these new champions were created in the years in which the Congress was in power. We gave birth to the new middle class. Millions and millions of fam families became the middle class. Thousands and thousands of entrepreneurs started their businesses. We created enormous wealth. As I said, we doubled the GDP once and we doubled it again. We created enormous wealth. But this is the lesson we have to learn. The wealth accrued to a small section of the people. There's no harm in admitting that. The reality is, the bottom 50% of India has only 13% of the national income. The bottom 50% of India has only 3% of the nation's wealth. While we created wealth, the wealth went to the top 50% of India it did not go to the bottom 50% of India. But that is the history of all countries which move from a low stage of development to an advanced stage of development. There's no shame in that. That is a historical fact. We can admit it. The question now is, how do we go forward? Just as we embraced an open, competitive and liberal economy, I submit that the time has come for Congress party to declare boldly and in a forthright manner that our next task is to lift the bottom 50% of the people of India out of poverty. 
22.4 crore people of India are in abject poverty. While there is great wealth in one side, there is also abject poverty in another. We must openly, freely, without any inhibition, adopt the 50% at the bottom of the population as our constituency and say the Congress Party's task is to lift the bottom 50%. The bottom 50% can only be lifted out of poverty and made into a middle class and ours becoming a middle income economy if we reset our economic policy. The first set of economic policy created the conditions for faster growth. The second set of economic policy that we must begin today, the reset of economic policy that we begin today must clearly aim at distributing wealth ensuring that not only wealth is created but work is created and equality and equity are created we are a very unequal society we are unequal in every manner we are so unequal that in the global hunger index our rank today is 101 to 107 out of 123 countries. In the global gender index, we are 135 in the rank of countries. This is perhaps the fastest developing country which is most unequal. And this inequality will lead to political instability as well as social strife. So just as in the first 20 years, we embraced an open, liberal, competitive economy. We must determine from today that we will embrace an economic policies which will redistribute wealth, create work, create wealth, and make sure that it is distributed more equally and equitably among the people of India. Just as the top 50% enjoyed the benefits of our economic policies, the bottom 50% must enjoy the benefits of our economic policies. We must not hesitate, we must not flinch, we must not be afraid to openly declare that from this day onwards, the Congress's economic policies will create work, will create wealth, but will ensure that it is equitably distributed so that the bottom 50% of the population will get the most of the benefits over the next 10, 20 years. The BJP will not do that. The BJP believes in cronyism. The BJP believes in concentrating wealth in a few hands. The BJP believes in creating monopolies. We must determine that this concentration of wealth will be broken. Monopolies will be broken. Cronyism will be ended. We must get rid of cronyism, monopolies, and concentration of wealth and ensure the vast majority of the people of India enjoy these benefits.